Hey guys, I'm Sharon from Scott Studios. So today I'll be showing you guys the material setup I had in my previous tutorial. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe. We have a ton of cool stuff planned for this channel, mostly uh, character modeling tutorials and animation loops. So if you guys are interested in those, make sure you guys subscribe. And also you can check out the part one of this tutorial in my channel. And uh, with that said, let's get on with the tutorial. So select everything with A. And delete it now create a plane go to the shading tab press 7 go to the top view create a new material and with shift a add a waves texture and make sure you guys enable the node wrangler add-on in edit preferences node wrangler and enable it and trust me guys it makes your life a lot easier so gives you a lot of shortcuts that you can use while you're creating materials like this one right here I'm gonna use it control shift T so we get a viewer node and it displays our texture and now with control T I'm gonna create a text coordinate and a mapping node just by pressing control T so that all that comes with the text coordinate node so I'm gonna plug the UV into the vector and I'm gonna select our plane tab into edit mode view and unwrap and now I'm going to create a color plug it in between and select the white one and uh, 0 0.5 and make it constant till you have something that looks like that and now I'm going to add a mix RGB node plug it in between and duplicate these three shift a and plug the uv into the vector this mapping node as well and I'm going to plug the color in to the color node maybe switch these two it's fine just make it look organized and now I'm going to change the Y rotation to about 90 degrees and we have this pattern all right so I'm going to show you guys how I created the other material that we had in the previous tutorial right by creating a mask and controlling the factor of the mix uh, RGB node so I'm gonna duplicate the same setup over here shift D right on top plug the UV in to the vector and plug the mix color into the vector and now I'm going to play with the uh, rotation with 45 minus 45 and there you go we have the mat uh, material we created in the previous tutorial so we can use this in the principal shader and create all sorts of different materials as well and we can create some cool materials with this node setup as well so i'll show you guys some different types of stuff we can do with this so if i play with this value over here you guys can see it changed a bit so i'm going to add a whole different uh like add a few more points over here and now I'm going to click this small arrow over here and make it evenly distributed along the plane. Now I'm going to change the color white and I'm going to do, I um, might reduce this to about 0.2, this to about 0.9, and I'm going to delete this one here and shift D move the bottom. Plug the color, the factor, plug the color over here, the factor as well. So we have a whole different material. Yeah. And all you gotta do is create a mix shader, duplicate the principal shader, plug the BSDF into the shader, and plug the mix color, the factor, and shift D. And now 
change the material colors. Increase the metallic value of this one. Decrease the roughness. And there you have, guys. You have a cool material over here. Just like that. So it's the same material we have used over here, just that I've stretched it a bit with the UVs, nothing special there. And this is actually just a Warner texture. And um, the only thing is I've increased the scale to about 27 and made it 4D so that I have extra control over the circles and I have Pulls, uh, pull together the white and the black values so uh, while it's in linear so that it looks like it's embossed in to our material plane so that's just it with that material so if you guys make this tutorial tag me on your work so I can see them maybe and leave some feedback as well so follow me on Insta I'll be posting more of my work there before I upload tutorials and I have a lot of videos like this in my channel so you guys can check them out as well and I'll be making three videos a week mostly character modeling videos and animation loops like this so on Mondays make sure you guys catch those animation loops and the rest of the week I'll be posting uh, more character modeling videos so if you guys want to learn how I created this sci-fi hallway scene you guys can click here and if you guys want to create more animation loops like this you guys can click the playlist over here so thank you guys for watching this tutorial if you guys liked it leave a comment and subscribe to this channel so thank you guys see you in the next one peace